Welcome back. As the college baseball regular season winds down, there's some questions that still need answers. Will Louisiana Tech host a regional? Will LSU even make the field? Well, Barstool Sports' Ben Mintz, who covers college baseball for Barstool, sat down with John Sartori to answer those questions earlier this week. Let's start with Tech season as a whole, man, because, you know, you've got the Love Shack reopening after everything that happened, and then on top of it, they have the season that they're having. What do you personally think has been the reason for all their success? Because they're arguably the best mid-major in the country this year. You know, I know Tommy McClellan's not there anymore. He's a Vandy, but they did a great job investing in this baseball program. Uh, that tornado, I mean, it's an awesome story. That tornado tearing down their stadium in 2019, and now they opened the new Love Shack with 2,500 people. But, man, it's a team that can match. They got a deep lineup. Jonathan Ventures turned into a heck of an ace. Uh, I, I mean, they've, I mean, they really don't have too many weaknesses. You know, they got a deep team, and I think the fact that they're older and have a lot of experience has a lot to do with it. But to me, they're no fluke. I mean, they look. You look at the performances against. They went two and two against Arkansas and Ole Miss. Could have been three and one. Conference USA, the bottom of. I would always say about Conference USA, the top of the league's always good. The bottom sucks. But there's all like you know right now, Tech, Old Dominion, and Charlotte all in the top twenty on D1 baseball. Southern Miss, top 30. You know, certainly that was a hard-fought series. I mean, that league's no joke. You can be good in college baseball coming out of the league. So, I'm just loving following it. Now, you've got Tech having as good a season as they are. On the other side of things, LSU um, having one of their worst seasons uh, that they've had in, in quite a while. Uh, just before we get into specifics there, why do you think that is? Why do you think that they've struggled so much? Man, I feel like this is a little bit of a snake bit year for LSU because they've got a lot of talent on that team. That freshman class with Trey Morgan and Dylan Cruz, and then you look at Landon Marceau, who's having an unbelievable Shadows year as the front line guy. The Jaden Hill injury, who's a top 10 pick, the certainly didn't Jody help. But it's just kind of been weird in that, you know, you are – look, Bill Parcells always says, you are what your record says you are. They're 4-11 in the SEC right now. But – you know, they, they they got swept on, like, two walk-offs and then by two runs to Tennessee. They lost two out of three at home to State. They got swept by Vandy, and they lose two out of three to South Carolina. Every one of those teams is top ten. You know, but that's just the way it is in the SEC. That's not an excuse. Everybody's really good. Uh, I still don't think they're that bad. I don't think they're horrible. Do you think that they are a team that, once they get to Hoover, can compete – with an Arkansas or a Vanderbilt? Do you think they can beat them in, in a tournament setting? Man, I mean, I think they can when Landon Marceau's pitching. But, you know, when it gets down to the, the behind, A.J. Labas is pitching pretty well as number two. But, you know, if they had Hill, Marceau, Hill, and him, you had such a great SEC rotation. But the bullpen looks pretty weak. I mean, I, they, can, they definitely can compete because I, I really think there's talent on this team. I don't think there's some, you know, joke. I think their record's a lot worse than they are. But – I don't know if they got the pitching staff depth to really make a run. 